Welcome back to 5-Minute Bible Study. We are finally done with chapter 10. Now, uh, chapter 11 begins with a long spiel, so once again, we're going to break it up a bit, but it's a good one. So I'm going to start reading Matthew 11, 1 to 6. After Jesus had finished instructing his 12 disciples, he went on from there to teach and preach in the towns of Galilee. When John heard in prison what Christ was doing, he sent his disciples to ask him, Are you the one who was to come, or should we expect someone else? Jesus replied, Go back and report to John what you see and hear. The blind receive sight, the lame walk, those who have leprosy are cured, the deaf hear, the dead are raised, and the good news is preached to the poor. Blessed is the man who does not fall away on account of me. And so the first thing I noticed was, he had just finished instructing his disciples and now he moves on to go teach and preach. So he told his disciples what he wants from them, but then he went and did it. He is working and serving. He's not just sitting on his throne and delegating and waiting for everyone else to do it. He is also doing what he's asking others to do. And then I like that it says that the word got back to prison. John is in prison and he heard what Christ was doing and to boot John still has followers because he sends his followers to Jesus. And I think about what faithful followers followers, followers those guys must be. Their leader is in jail. He can't even really do anything. But they're even still going to the jail, lingering around the jail. They are faithful followers. So then John says, please go to Jesus and ask him, is he the guy we've been reading about in the Old Testament? Is he the Savior we've been waiting for? Or is he just someone else like me, like John the Baptist? Is he here to get you ready, but he's not the Savior yet? We have to keep waiting. So his followers obey, and they go to him, and I love what Jesus says. Jesus says, you know what? Go back to, child, to John. He's got to hear about this. Tell him what, we, what you guys are seeing and what you guys are hearing. Tell him what you guys are are hearing the words that people are saying, the actions that you are seeing, because both are required. Go back and report to him. Tell him that the blind, those floundering in the dark, um, groping to find their way, they can suddenly see, they suddenly have clarity and light. They don't have to fumble around. And those who are paralyzed and stuck and almost treading water, not anymore, they can move. They can make headway, they can make up ground. And then we have those who have been shunned, the ones who have been mistreated and excluded by society because they were too unclean, they were too bad, not good enough. Well, guess what? Now they're clean. Now they're allowed back in. They're welcomed. They're touched. They're loved. That's what's happening. You saw it. You heard it. And then the people who couldn't hear anything, now they can hear everything, including the voice of their savior. They're picking up on it loud and clear. And the dead, or those who are wishing they were dead, those not living, but just going through the motions, just surviving, not living a real life, not on fire. They have no spark for anything in life. Well, guess what? They are breathing now. They are inhaling God and they are exhaling praise. They are moving. They are on fire. And to boot, the generosity of God is being preached and offered to those who have nothing. The poor can now be wealthy because of God's generosity. They are in a class all on their own. And he says, and these things that you have seen and that you have heard, that you've watched and observed, these things are for anybody who doesn't abandon me. I just preached to you and said, life's going to be hard if you follow me. You're going to lose family and friends. People are going to think you're crazy. But I'm asking you to stick by me. And if you stick by me, these are the kinds of things you're going to see and hear. And all of these things are for those who don't give up. All these things are for those who actually lose their life, who sacrifice friends and family and reputation and perception, and that they never pick it up again. They never go back and try and get those family, friends, and reputation and acceptance. They stick by my side in the bad, 
you get to receive this. And in the end, I thought Jesus or John had asked his followers to go and report. And Jesus said, go and report what you see and hear, the actions and words. If John were in jail today, and he sent his followers to go find out about Jesus, and Jesus said to his followers, go report the actions and words you hear out of Nancy. Go report what you see and hear. What kind of report would John get in jail? If Jesus said that about you in your life, go and report what you see and hear, what kind of report would John get? Yeah, that's that's my ending thought actually for today. <laughs>